Hey guys, welcome to the third Tibet tutorial about Dune 2000. And in previous tutorial, we covered the general one tab with the basic settings here. Right now, we're gonna move up to the next tab, which is general two. And this one is a bit, a bit more complicated. It also has a bunch of unknown bytes here that I also have no idea about them and never work with them. So, yeah, just you don't really need them. I think so this one is indeed dangerous because you can scr screw up your game very easily unit behavior this one is pretty much how the uh, the unit is going to act so you can ch uh, change this if you want but I really don't recommend it because I don't remember getting it to work um, unit art this is the sprite that the unit is going to use so let's say you want your quad to look different well um, let's go ahead and choose the deviator and now the quad your quad will look like a deviator still shooting with the quads weapon and we're gonna test this in the game uh, in a few moments let's go ahead uh, through the our options and then let's go and see what's what we have done here so this the uh, has barrel if you want your unit to have a turret then you're gonna have to click yes and then select what type of turret is going to have and the difference is that if you really want to make it look good then you're gonna have to use one of those values that have barrel at the end because those are the only turrets that can move in the game so you have uh, each one from uh, the uh, from the combat tanks and there should be a siege tank barrel so if you ever saw that mod because there is a mod on dune where the siege tank can move its turret and that way shook backwards and shit like that and well this is the way they did it <coughs> so let's go ahead and try this and yeah why not let's go ahead and test what we have done so you're gonna have to click this one save changes to the game and Tibet now just applied your settings to the game so now you can just run the game and you should see the result so we're gonna have a small practice match and test out our quad hopefully with no errors because trust me it's so easily to screw up your game with Tibid <coughs> waiting for the game to start um, oh go away this new Avast is just very bad Where's my game? Okay. Well, this was weird. We're gonna run the game again. We already applied those settings, so we don't need it anymore. And for some reason, we don't have sound. But we can cope with this. Oh, it's back now. go away wow freaking Avast this new version of Avast is really retarded they start to analyze every single game which is very bad alright so let's start up a practice match here very fast doesn't matter the map we just need to see the quad standing so by here it is reporting wait, wait a second Alright, so Let's go. here's our quad. As you can see, Let's it has go. the base of the deviator yes, and the uh, turret of the siege Let's tank. Go. So now it's gonna shoot the quad weapon exactly with the same speed, but the unit art is totally yes, different. Yes, it also has a turret, so yes, it does commander. not need to turn yes, to shoot in different angles. Yes, 
and the damage is exactly the same. So nothing has been changed except unit the lost. unit sprite. Alright. Game is lagging also. Uh, also, uh, besides the unit sprite in this tab, I really don't recommend you changing many other things and I really recommend not working with the unknown binds unless you are really unless you really know what you're doing death animation untested as the that thing says I I don't know I never worked with them because you don't really need that very much it's not really awesome smoke also never worked with it probably you don't have it as well uh, d don't have to work with it as well and special case well this one is actually useful and I did work with it let's read what the balloon says because it gives you nice tips so um, this tells the game what kind of special unit this one is so it as adds specific logic to units so if you're making an MCV type of unit, you're gonna have to put the special case to six. <coughs> or in other words, if you are, we're, if we are not using the manual INI uh, type of editing, we're gonna have to put the special case to MCV if you want it to deploy. But I don't recommend using that. We would uh, better just go ahead and use uh, where is it, Fremen. And if I remember correctly, this one is going to make our quad stealth. So let's go ahead and test if this thing works. Gonna apply your settings again because you obviously modified something. Hopefully the game is not gonna be retarded again. Still lags a bit, but it's there now. And yep. Voila, Standing here we by. have our stealth quad. Yes, commander. Yes, commander. Let's go. Yes, commander. Yes, so commander. Yeah. Orders uh, I'm not sure yes, if commander. this uh, is the way to yes, make commander. more units yes, being stealthed, but yes, certainly works yes, for one unit. Yes, commander. Yes, you can commander. see it's totally stealthed. Orders confirmed. The only. Yes, commander. Orders or not, uh, never mind. Let's go. Okay. So I think we've covered pretty much everything about this general two tab. This one is probably one of the most interesting parts. <coughs> I'm I, I never tested the devastator, but I think it can um, self-destruct itself. You are probably gonna need to give it a secondary weapon in order to do that in the general one tab I don't know and if you are interested you can go ahead and play with these and see what each one is gonna do we're not gonna do that now so we're gonna just let it for known now and about the unknown tab if you know something about these bytes go ahead and leave me a comment I would appreciate it and otherwise I don't recommend working with them unless you have plenty of time and plenty of backups and you really want to see what these are doing come on come on this shitty avast alright guys thanks for watching and see ya in the next tutorial